Good morning, Granite Bay High School. Hey, can you believe it's already time to register for next year? I know you're thinking, no way, but once again, we're gonna be doing registration, for the most part, online. And let me go ahead and tell you the details. Two important things to know up front is you need to think critically about the courses that you're going to select. Because once you choose a course, the school's gonna do everything they can to build that into your schedule. That also means that when you Come time, try to change your schedule for later on, it's gonna be very difficult to do. Another important detail in the registration process is to know that it's not a first come, first serve program. So don't freak out and think you've gotta do all the registration in the first five minutes of the registration window. All submissions that are completed by the close of the window will be processed at the same time. So relax, make sure you work with your parents and your counselor so you get the best schedule for your academic success. Today, you will receive a registration packet from your second period teacher to take home. It will include vital information to be completed by you and your parent and return to the school. You each will receive a transcript, a course selection worksheet. Freshmen have yellow, sophomores have green, and juniors will have pink, and instructions which are stapled to the front of each packet. You will have no problems if you follow the step-by-step -step directions and the checklist. Before registration, you need a HomeLink account. You need to know your six-digit number on your ID card. If you don't have a HomeLink account or can't remember your six-digit number, please come to the office and see our registrar, Mrs. Swartz. Make sure to read through all the information in your packet with your parents. Make sure you understand the step-by-step -step directions to the process. Finally, fill out the paperwork, like your emergency card, ahead of time so that you don't have to worry about it. During registration, once you have reviewed the registration materials, go to the Granite Bay High School website, www.granitebayhigh.org, and access the online tutorial program. You can't miss the link to the program right on the front screen of the school website. The registration window of opportunity is February 8th to February 14th. Again, remember that all students' courses requests will be processed at the same time, and this is not a first come, first serve program. No internet? No worries. Students and their parents can access the internet in the Learning Center and Career Center before or after school and during lunches. There will be an evening registration session in the Learning Center Wednesday, February 9, and Monday, February 14. The Learning Center will be open from 5 to 7 p.m. Please make an appointment with Mrs. Hedstrom in the Learning Center at jhedstrom at rjuhsd.us or by using extension 5706. In addition to using the online tutorial program, fill out your colored course selection worksheet. Finally, you will need to enter your selected course request into HomeLink via your HomeLink account. When you are done, you will print the page and have a parent sign it. They may sign it anywhere on the page. This may sound like a lot of steps, but follow your directions in your packet and it's really easy. Also, if you have questions about the registration, or need help in selecting your classes, the counselors are available in the cafeteria during both lunches on February 9th, 10th, and 11th. After the online registration, no later than Tuesday, February 15th, you must turn in the following paperwork to your second period teacher. One, turn in a completed HomeLink online course request printout with your parent's signature. Parents may sign anywhere on the form. Two, completed colored course selection worksheet and four-year plan that you'll find on the back. Three, completed online tutorial printout. Four, completed emergency card and other signed paperwork, including TA forms, athletic forms, off-campus forms, etc. Granite Bay High School is fortunate to have a number of outstanding student classes and programs. Second, only to student safety is our goal to prepare Granite Bay High School students for post-secondary success. Student academic performance on tests is a very valid and valued measure of future success. It is in this spirit that we want to bring your attention to additional STAR testing prerequisites for some of our academic and elective courses. Students that would like to participate with AP English courses will be required to have a basic or above that's a score of three or higher on previous CST, that STAR test, of the English Language Art section. Students that would like to participate with AP History courses will be required to have basic or above for their CST History and CST English scores. 
Students that would like to be a TA will need to score basic or higher on two or more of their last CST tests. And students that would like to become TIs will need to score three or higher on their last CST English tests or at least one score of proficient or higher on any of their other tests. And finally, students teaching students will need to have teacher recommendation and a score of advanced that's a four or higher on at least two of their last CST tests. Again, we want students to challenge themselves with a rigorous schedule. At the same time, we want to make sure that each student is properly prepared for success in these courses. Beginning February 16th, registration advising will take place in the cafeteria. Counselors will meet with second period classes to briefly review transcripts and course selections and make any changes or corrections. Students who do not register during the February 8th to 14th window will lose priority and will need to choose their classes during the registration review session. Let's review the basics. Read your directions and look through your packet so you are ready. Review the program planning guide available at the Granite Bay High School website for course descriptions, graduation, and college entrance requirements. Go to www.granitebayhigh.org and access the online tutorial program. Use the information to fill out your colored course selection sheet. Sign on to Homelink and select and print your official course requests. Make sure to get your parent guardian signature anywhere on the page. Bring the Homelink online course request printout with a parent guardian signature, the online tutorial program printout, the colored course selection worksheet, and all additional paperwork back to your second period teacher by Tuesday, February 15th. For the last three years, we've communicated the importance of critically researching and selecting the courses you'd like to take. We are committed to doing our best to build a master schedule based upon courses students need and courses students want. Class changes will be very limited once you select your courses. Take time now to work with your parents and your counselor so that you register to take the courses which will best prepare you for success. And that's registration, Granite Bay High School. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Get out there and register.